Hi guys, Shane Jackson here. Just wanted to do a real quick video showing the progress on my nickel magnet cell. As you can see, I'm using the same size magnets Larry is. These are some extremely strong magnets. What I'm doing is I've got an acrylic plate a three quarter inch thick acrylic plate I've machined out a pocket for the magnet to sit into and then there's a lip there'll be an acrylic cap that will encase the magnet inside of this acrylic plate I've still got the machine out pocket for the nickel plates There'll be one on each side and each here's a stack of the the blanks this was the top of the cell of course it wouldn't be a nickel plate here but you would have a magnet nickel plate nickel plate magnet nickel plate, nickel plate, magnet, nickel plate, nickel plate, magnet, and so on. I've got seven magnets. I'm going to do the seven plates, six gaps to start with. Kind of see how, how the cell acts. Uh, like I said, these are three quarter inch thick. I've got plenty of room for the barb. Hopefully I won't run into the problem with it splitting. This will be the gas outlet. As you can see, this hole doesn't go all the way through. Electrolyte inlet down at the bottom. Each cell will be separated. I'm not sure if I'm going to build a pipe organ, as Larry calls it, for the reservoir, or just run them to a manifold once they're about a foot worth of hose out going to the reservoir. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with that yet. Um, there's either going to be a gasket in between each of these spaces. Or I may do a acrylic shim between them, just depending on what kind of gap I end up going with. Uh, thinking about one sixteenth right now, may end up going with one eighth. Um, just want to get them, you know, fairly fairly close so the magnetic fields as strong as possible running through the cell. Really not sure right now, but that's the progress so far. It took about uh, three or four hours to cut out the blanks. It took 45 minutes just to cut out this pocket. Uh, it's going to take a long time on this build. So I'll do another video once I have a couple of these completely milled out you'll be able to see a little better what I'm doing and hopefully I'll have some test results before too long so thanks for watching